Breaking right now at 10, the vaccine mandate for PBA members, the largest NYPD union, has been struck down. Yeah, Manhattan Supreme Court judge ruled today that the city vaccine mandate is invalid for police officers who are part of the PBA, ordering all who are fired or put on leave to get their jobs back. Now, News 12's Mary Lynn Buckley joins us right now. She has more for us from the 69th Precinct. And Mary Lynn, some massive implications here of this decision. Kurt, that's right. This is big news for NYPD members that are a part of the PBA. Last October, when the city's vaccine mandate went into effect, if you didn't get the COVID-19 vaccine, you either lost your job or you had to take a leave of absence. But this ruling today means that the city cannot terminate a member of the PBA for not getting vaccinated. In fact, the judge is saying anyone that lost their job or went on a leave of absence should be put back into their last position. Now, PBA President Pat Lynch, he did make a statement saying in part this decision decision confirms what we've said from the start. The vaccine mandate was an improper infringement on our members right to make personal medical decisions and the Detectives Endowment Association also saying that they will continue to fight for their members to get reinstated and to get reimbursed. But so far this ruling, it only applies to members of the PBA because the court ruled that the vaccine mandate was not a condition of their employment in their union contract. The Sergeant Benevolent Association adding that its lawyers are reviewing the decision as they wait on the city's next steps. And tonight, the firefighters union also calling on the FDNY commissioner to bring back members who were fired for not getting the shots and to give them back pay. But a city hall spokesperson already saying that the city will be appealing this decision. And by appealing this decision, what that means is that the judge's ruling is put on pause until this is heard. Warren Canarsie, I'm Mary Lynn Buckley, News 12. All right, Mary Lynn, thank you for that.